What's up, hungry people? It's Rex with Eat Magazine and Eat OC Now. I'm at Bourbon Street, a place well known for amazing Cajun food. I'm with Larry, but what I want to talk about is the other 80% of the menu, which is not Cajun, and a burger that will challenge your very life. Coming up. A huge portion of your menu is not Cajun at all. It's uh, pork chops, eight different types of sliders, oh. eight different types of tacos. Let's talk about the sliders for a second. You can mix and match. You have six different types of sliders, or is it eight? You have actually uh, eight? I, I, I messed up. It's six or eight, <laughs> I don't know. Who knows, but whatever it is, you can mix and match. You have burgers, fish, chicken, with mashed potatoes and gravy, and it's awesome, seriously. We have two different burgers. We have, we have a fried chicken, we have a buffalo chicken, we have a fish, a fried mozzarella one that's really awesome. We have fish and chips. So, so those are definitely not part of the whole Cajun vibe. Right. Really awesome pub style food. Okay. And then you have a couple different salads. Shrimp salad. Citrus chopped salad. Citrus chopped salad. Caesar salad. Okay. And our favorite bourbon street salad. It's got gorgonzola, candied walnut, just a whole lot of uh, fun stuff. Sounds like something I would not eat actually, but I'm sure it's awesome and people that want that, definitely they have it here at Bourbon Street. Okay, you got an amazing wedge. It's a bacon wedge. It's something that John and I saw in New Orleans and we thought that our customers would love it here. It's almost like a BLT, well, salad, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bacon, lettuce, tomato right, salad, right? right? We have a special guest here. This is John, another Bourbon Streeter, and we'll get him mic'd up. Non-Cajun hot items. The ribs. Where'd you get the rib, the sauce that goes on that? Uh, we actually make it out of uh, beer. We make it out of our Turbo Dog. Let me our, get some of that. This is Turbo Dog. This is what the rib sauce is made out of. Yep. It's their beer right here in house. Anytime you see one of the kitchen guys with a huge pitcher of beer, that's not for drinking. It's not for drinking? No. no. Oh, this is for drinking though. That's for drinking. Yeah, this is really good. <laughs> I like that. Okay, I'll bet it makes a great rib sauce. Oh man, it's, it's, it's fantastic. That's amazing. Uh, pork chop's about this thick. Yeah. About this big around, uh, what was 10, 12 ounces, something like that. Um, it's anchovy rub. Uh, then we do a gremolata on it, which is they made from Serrano's. Um, a little spice. It's got a little spice. It really complements each other. Our mac yeah. and cheese is uses three different kinds of cheeses, um, and uh, we do a heavy coat of uh, our blue cheese on top. Gives it a whole different flavor profile. It's a form of blue cheese. What, what? It's not blue cheese? It's blue no. cheese, but it's it's in the blue cheese family. It's, um, John lied, oh, it's not blue cheese. <laughs> it's in the family, but he's a liar. Well, so what, no, what, it, is, what it, is it? It's Gouda cheddar. <laughs> it's smoked Gouda. Uh, what is the other blue cheese? Gour the Gour Gorgonzola. We don't Gour use Gorgonzola. Gorgonzola. No, I thought we, did. we still had no, one. The old one we did. Oh. I, I haven't eaten that one yeah. in a while. <laughs> Nobody knows what's in it. It's a, it's a mystery. <laughs> but it's really good, so come and eat some of that. It's got bacon. We can't, we can't say blue cheese because it's a yeah, thing with like flavor. Yeah. So, okay, so it's no, not no, blue no, no, cheese, no. whatever that is. Okay. So a lot of people don't know about our breakfast. My favorite is the steak and eggs, so it's tri-tip um, with uh, this peppercorn sauce on top, and you got eggs and potatoes, and, and uh, the, the meat is awesome. I, I'm the steak and eggs type of guy, so yeah, yeah. that's my favorite. What are some of the really popular items on your breakfast? Blue cornmeal waffles. We also have that with uh, country fried steak and waffles. So it's our take on, oh. you know, chicken and waffles. What time do you guys do breakfast at? Uh, 11 to about uh, 2 o'clock. 11 to 2. We can't even take it to 4. So sort of a brunch. Yeah. Wow. So John uh, developed this burrito. Um, oh. I'm fat, I like burritos. You so you know it's gonna be good. Tire burrito's got uh, pulled pork, it's got bacon, ham, sausage, obviously eggs, all of that wrapped into a thing. It's deep fried to make it into a chimichanga or a changa. And it's, and it's laid on top of a big, huge smear of our um, chorizo. Ch chorizo sauce that we put on the bottom. So literally, it's, every awesome breakfast pork item that you can get in one thing. It's super healthy. Uh, breakfast breakfast. The champions. <laughs> so good, so good. You guys actually have a challenging 
item on the menu that people can try to eat if they want to, but they have to finish the whole thing. What, tell me about the challenge burger. When we were kind of revamping the menu and our friend Cody. Cody. Cody Stortz. Stortz from Fullerton. Yes, uh, yeah. local, everyone knows him. So we were sitting back there talking about spice and thinking, hey, let's make this challenge burger. We'll make it out of, you know, goat's chili peppers, Carolina Reaper, you know, the hottest peppers that you can get. And we finally came up with this three layer burger, three third pound patty. It's almost a pound of beef right there. Between each one, you've got cheese, pickled vegetable, buttered shrimp, and bacon. The entire thing is actually cooked in this hot sauce. And I've actually had it, so when I see people eat it, I'm just like, I'm either amazed or I feel really bad for them. It will literally <laughs> challenge your very life. We have a waiver that says that you may die eating this. Then they contacted us last the end of last year, like, hey, we're, we could want to come in and do man versus food. Like, oh, awesome. It looked great on TV. It looked fantastic on TV and food won. He couldn't but even do it. The burger no, Casey Webb could not do it. Food won. Wow. Yeah. So you've had people actually win this contest before, right? Yeah. When we first started it, you had to eat the burger and the fries, but the main challenge is the heat. So we pulled the fries off. We probably had 150 people try it, 20 yeah. survivors. They didn't die. They actually just ate the burger you mean, right? Yeah. You get yourself a nice t-shirt that says you survived the Diablo challenge and we obviously pay for the food. Okay. So I don't want you to win. You have one hour, oh. one hour to uh, finish the burger. What's your favorite beer? I'd have to go with the Purple Haze. Well, I have to go with the Beta as well. I'm an IPA drinker, so it'd be the, their Route Iron IPA. I'm gonna get some beers, and we're gonna have a drinking contest right now. Thanks for joining us. Bourbon Street, come on down for breakfast or non-Cajun food and a nice cold beverage. Woo. Cheers, guys. Launcher. To the Bourbon Street.